care only now about marrying Rachel and seeing that she's happy. But mark me, I will not allow anything to spoil this wedding day. Maggie says New York is really awesome. Yeah, it is. And a beautiful flower for the beautiful flower girl. And here's one for her lovely mum. Thank you. Welcome. Are they safe? Oh, come on, Amanda. What do you think I do? Put a booby trap in the posies? Probably not until you and my mother have said your vows and all the papers are signed, Carl. Can I practice throwing rose petals? Why don't you uh, wait till you go outside, okay? Yeah, yeah. Why, don't you, uh, why don't you take the whole bunch of them and set to work on it? And watch out for the thorns, love. Yes, watch out for the thorns. Is everyone ready? Yes, indeed. Ready but we need one ready. of these for Matthew. Oh. Here, lad, your lapel looks just a wee bit barren. Mm, okay, thank I'll you. I'll get you a pin. Why don't you uh, go outside and practice your flowers, okay? Mm -hmm. I will not bring my daughter to this wedding if it's not safe. Well, Carl swears he can handle security. Well, that's a laugh. Carl's the one we're worried about. Oh, Iris, give it a rest. Every precaution has been taken. The guest list is only family and close friends. I doubt a stranger could crash the party. Well, Everybody what ready? if the person who's making the threats isn't a stranger? Ready, but not exactly willing. <laughs> Grab a bag, Iris. You're joking. Grab a bag. This one will suit You see this door here? Yes. You see this door? Now, the next time you walk through this door, you will be Mrs. Carl Hutchins. Yes, I know. Are you sure? Are you quite, quite sure that this is what you want? Yes. I'm quite, quite sure. <laughs> Where's Ethan? Always quiet weddings. This time I'm going to ball at the rehearsal. <laughs> she won't be alone. I want the ceremony to be very uplifting. Yes, come on, let's try a smile, everybody, eh? Even you, Iris. Even if it kills you. Oh, the church is perfect. Mm -hmm. I hope it's secure. Yes, Ito took care of that. It'll be fine, really fine. You're going to love Reverend Brobeck. He officiated at four of my last five weddings. Did you really? <laughs> well, it's very nice to meet you. I keep doing it till I get it right. <laughs> I'm sure you're a very busy man, sir, and let us not keep you any longer than is necessary. The groom is a little nervous. I'm no, afraid. I'm not nervous. Why did you say that? I'm not so nervous. I'm just, I'm just eager to become her husband. Yes, Ito, um, would you stand in for the best man, my son? He's unable to uh, attend until tomorrow. I'm sorry, Mr. Hutchins, but Ryan just called a few minutes ago with his regrets. He won't be able to make it to New York for the service. Oh, oh darling, I'm sorry. I know how much that meant to you. Yes, well, he's, um, he'll be here with us in spirit, and it's much more important that he find Victoria. Carl, you, you can't have a wedding without a best man. No. Matthew, would you do me the honor of standing in for my son? Sure. I am forever in your debt. Wait a minute. Matt is supposed to give Rachel away. Oh, it's all right. I'm perfectly capable of walking down the aisle all by myself. <laughs> it's quite fitting, actually. Mom, no one really wants to give you away. Uh, uh, you see, you shouldn't look upon it like you're, you're losing a mother, but rather that you're gaining. Well, let's rehearse. Yes. Places, everybody. Now, uh, where am I supposed to be stationed, Governor? I think we stand right here and wait for the music. Here comes the bride. Don't forget the flower, girl! Oh, yes, that's oh, right. Come yes, on down no. here. We start with you. All right. You ready? Okay, go. Oh, <laughs> oh very nicely done. Oh, oh, there's no way I'm going to try to follow that. <laughs> You're next, Grandma. Beautifully done. I'll make opening remarks. Dearly beloved, etc., etc. Etc., etc. I like this man's style. <laughs> <laughs> and then I ask if there is anyone here who can show just cause why these two cannot be joined in matrimony. Does anybody have any objections? We might as well do this now. Look, we do not want to have an ugly scene ruin our wedding day. So, uh... Let's not be bashful. Any complaints? 
The entire congregation may rise in protest. <laughs> Iris, anything you would like to rake over the coals? Mommy, all right? You're all right. Is everyone okay? No, I think we're okay. Yes, thanks. Reverend, I think you should call the police. No, no, that's not necessary. We have full security. Oh, and what good did that do? Ito, check with our people. Mommy, I'm scared. Oh, no, honey, it's okay. Um, I want to go home. Me too. Now, don't panic. I mean, that could have been a, a car backfiring in the street. The sound sounded like it was coming in from inside. Well, well, who knows? Maybe some hooligans setting off firecrackers. Yes, yeah, so I'd like to find the hooligan. And I'd like to get out of here. Let's just see what Ito turns up. This was just done to frighten us. Well, we don't know that for certain. Well, now, now, you know, this is this is a crazy city. I mean, uh, just the other night, past Eddie Hanrahan, he's my latest beau. He set off uh, Roman candles in the street outside my shop to get me to accept marriage proposal number six. <laughs> what did you say? Well, with Fast Eddie, that's probably the only fireworks I'm liable to see, so... <laughs> for the first time in my natural life, I actually said no. <laughs> I wish Rachel would take a page out of your book, Loretta. Excuse me. No one was seen entering or leaving the building. Well, I don't think that was a car backfiring. You know, the most distinctive sound of a gun. Go and find the source. Everybody, the building is safe. So say the security detail. Are you sure they're up for the job? Huh? Yes. Are we going to continue with the rehearsal? No, no, I don't think so. We've got the hang of it, haven't we? Yes, after the vows, exchange rings and kiss the bride. Right, good show, good show. So we're all set for tomorrow? Thank you very much, Reverend. Yes. Thank it's you. It's going to be a lovely service. If we make it... Mommy, we not have to hide again at the wedding? No, no, of course not. We're, we're safe now. You have nothing to worry about. Are you sure? Uh, excuse me, Mommy, darling. No, no, I want to hear what Ido has to say. Come on, Allie, let's go. But what if the gun goes off again? Oh, Allie. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Why don't I take Allie outside in the church courtyard? We can pick some more flowers for your bouquet. Don't worry, sweetie. Safe as a fortress out there. Hey, thanks, Loretta. It's okay, sweetie. Go with Loretta, okay? What is going on? What'd you find, Edith? Did you find something? Yes, this. A tape recorder? I found it up in the organ loft, plugged into the sound system for amplification. You mean that little thing? Was the sound you heard. Ito, have the recorder dusted for prints. Put a trace on the serial number and on the cassette. Do whatever you have to do, but find out where that came from. Yes, sir. This was another scare tactic. Who is doing this? Somebody who wants to intimidate us into canceling the wedding. Well, then maybe you should change your plans. Whoever is doing this, this is a warning. They're going to do the same thing tomorrow, only tomorrow it might be for real. Well, then come on. I mean, why, why, how can you go through with the wedding? Well, if you still want me, I won't be frightened off. Of course, I still want you. We'll put guards all around the church. Your guards didn't stop someone from installing that tape recorder. Matthew. Yes, true. But that may have been an oversight, or on the other hand, it could have been an inside job. Well, frankly, I don't trust your security. Now, I know you didn't want a police presence, but I'm not playing games when it comes to my family's security. It's not a game, Matthew. Exactly, it isn't. So I'm going to get around-the-clock police protection and a stakeout at this church until the wedding's over. How am I supposed to explain this to Allie? Amanda. I'll see what you've done. Mr. Hutchins, I did not want to tell you this in front of the Corey family. It won't be necessary for me to trace the ownership of this microcassette. I am quite certain it belongs to you. We'll dispose of it immediately. Listen, I'm going to go tell Loretta and Allie that that gunshot was only a tape. I'll let you talk to Rachel, okay? Thanks, Paul. Personally, I wouldn't allow a child of mine anywhere near this. Iris, please. No thanks to Rachel's stubbornness, any one of us could be killed. All right, that's enough, Iris. Please don't listen to Iris. What if she's right? Mom, come on, it's not too late. Please, please tell Carl that you've changed your mind. Call off the wedding before someone in this family gets hurt. <laughs> 